So, I'm looking over the board, and I've taken a while to look it over. <clears throat> Got a game plan. Not worrying about Jerusalem. Hopefully, they can hold out with their five uh, resistance factors. Uh, don't think they will, but the longer that they do, the better it is for me. Uh, oh, Almer. And Malrek. He's heading on down to uh, Cairo to help finish off the Muslims in Egypt. That is his mission. Meanwhile, and the only thing I'm looking at to help me with this scenario is the fact that we got all these turns left. And this is uh, seven cards apiece, so I'm pretty sure I can get it done. Uh, then the, uh, not in the favor of the Muslim player, they got to demobilize, so I'm counting on that as China is uh, to my advantage. Uh, like I said, I want them to hold up, but what the key is, is all these Christian forces. Here, 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 here. We're all gonna make a little siege on Aleppo and march on down here and uh, retake Jerusalem if it falls. I think he's, nobody, he's got nothing else on the board. It's all cavalry, so it'll be a fight. It'll be a big uh, battle or two, but uh, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I might redo it here. I might relook and come back for Jerusalem. We'll see. Be back. All right. Now, second plan would be to come back to Jerusalem, uh, break the siege, try to break the siege. But uh, I don't see that as happening because he's got a big force here and lots of Seljuk cavalry coming on down that he can gather. He don't have that much time to do that in this turn, though. So uh, I might be able to make it to break the siege. That gives me diplomatic advantage markers and some other uh, advantages. But uh, yeah, coming back here, holding up, and waiting for these guys to pull what I was just talking about earlier all down, coming on through. So uh, Egypt is pretty well mine. He has to break through here to come on down unless he comes around here. Be back. All right, I think we're gonna be bold. We're gonna head west. Not east. Hope Jerusalem can hold out and hope uh, time and uh, demustering or demobilization uh, hurts the Muslim player. Uh, we'll be on with it. We'll be back. All right, I spent the old Scorched Earth card. Ain't no big deal. There's one card here, though, that uh, Papal Support gives me some replacement, so I'm going to hold off on that one. And I'll probably hopefully use it for its uh, Papal Support event. Till then. One op card to activate old Amalric. And he is outside of the Fatiman Fortress at Bilbaeus. Bilbaeus. And uh, heading on down to, elite, to eliminate the uh, Muslim Fatiman rebel army. And hopefully its leader comes with some benefits. So that is the Christian player's card play. What will the Muslim response be? Alright. Muslim players got some nice cards here. Especially this one. Sappers and Miners. Only drawback is he's only got... Oops, sorry about that. Three and a half. That one unit was reduced, so can't play that card. Let's see what we got on this one. Also for an attacker. Rats and enemy food supply reduce resistance factor by two and flip up to three full strength enemy units and stronghold if it is blockaded. Huh. Well, that's a good one. I think we're going to play this one as the Muslim player. I reduce the resistance factor by two and flip up to three full strength enemy units and stronghold to their. If it's blockaded, draw a placement card. So that is what the... You, you, we gotta play that card. We gotta play that card. So this is it. We go over here. Uh, those three units. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, any embassy's army. Oh, that's not... Yeah, it's a Christian players, I was just saying. <laughs> We're not gonna play that event, but he is gonna play the siege event. Reduce the resistance factor by two. It'll make a five and two a so 
three. Also, flip up to three full strength enemy units. It's blockaded. So, enemy units. Flip one. Flip two because they are blockaded. That is a big event. Right there. Alright. So, as the story goes, for the Muslim turn. Uh, rats and enemies, food supply. Definitely hurts the uh, Christian player. Now, I think he might be able to assault after he does this, so we're going to look at about assault possibility. Um, Muslim player is down to his last card. So, uh, we're going to be back back. Alright, well you can see here, if I can get this not moving too much. Uh, it says here, the procedure's combat strength and the combat results table is re shifted the number of columns to the left equal to the resistance factor. That's a killer. That's three. So I think we'll hold off on the assault for somebody else to come. We're running out of cards though. So, uh, We'll see what happens. Maybe we can reduce something or do something else. But right now, that seems a little steep to me. Uh, oh, we'll see if he's got any more options. We'll be back. All right, I believe that's all he can play. So, Christian players move. He's got two cards left. And um, compared to the Muslims, one card. So we're getting down to it here on this little siege. We'll find out what happens with the at the end of the season. Because as is uh, as it is on Oak Island, the curse of Oak Island, the winter is moving in, and everything shuts down. <laughs> they go. I guess they go back home and get their crops. Whereas on Oak Island, just when they're getting the treasure or close, the winter moves in. So we'll see what's up. Talking about winter, I think we got snow outside. Hold on a second. What do you know? What do you know? I just tilled my garden. It got a bunch of people. My boss planted already. I tilled last weekend, but I did not plant, and I'm glad I didn't. Happy spring! All right, then. Luckily for the Christian player, after the uh, rats and the enemy food supply caused havoc, uh, there's some papal support. And one Catholic power of the Christian player's choice. Gains two replacement points that must be spent immediately. So we will go back here to Jerusalem and take a couple of those uh, Jerusalem units and flip them back over to their full strength side. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, says uh, the Muslim general. How did those freaking Christians get into the city? So is that an inland port? Oh, well, it's blockaded, though. Well, didn't say nothing about no stipulations. But, yeah, I waited for I kept that card. Did not know what was going to happen, but maybe to replace some uh, siege casualties. That's exactly what happened. We're back with the Muslim player's response. All right, last card, last card. We're not engaged in naval movement. Don't want to use that. Cypress and miners were half of a half of a um, strength point from using that one. So we might have to just go use it for a three and move all uh, there again. He come down here, Jerusalem. But don't have an assault. We'll see what happens. Be right back. All right. Unfortunately, for the Muslim player, if I use this card to move that general, I can't use it to assault. So everybody will be there. Huh. Now generals can hold on to a bunch of their forces, so it might be beneficial to go ahead and move them and keep these guys here ready for the next uh, mustering phase the spring or in the fall remember in the fall is when they muster they go home during the summertime because it's too hot number one not campaign 
they gotta get their crops in and everything for the summertime. So uh, winter time is the campaigning season. So next winter when they all muster, I think they can still muster here on this uh, lady's guy's seed still. Let me look over that rule. If that's the case, I will move him on here. If not, then I'll use this to activate and assault. Or to try and assault. What the heck? Gotta give it a try. We'll see what's up. Although now they got full strength units because of the papal support. Be back. Alright, upon further review, but I caught it. Uh, when the Muslim player played this card, he gets to draw a placement card. And I did not do that, so here it goes. Top of the deck. We are done here. We'll do this together. Christian player may transfer his leaders up, so it's a Christian event. We don't want that. This is an attacker. Fleets, blockade, stronghold, Christian only. Ah. Uh, so, uh, it is a two op card. But uh, just in time, caught it in time, we'll be back. Alright, what that card does now, though, is gives me a chance to activate him and throw away a card for an assault. So that changes everything. I forgot all about drawing that card, so luckily I caught it. And uh, that's what we're going to do with the Muslim turn. The Siege of Jerusalem is on. We'll see how it goes. Be back in the next episode.